Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. And another heavyweight news and notes mashup video today, starting with Undisputed, and we'll make this a quick one. So a potential fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk for all the marbles. Talks have been underway for several weeks, says Usyk's manager, Igis Klimas. So he told TalkSport that they had been in negotiations for weeks before the Derek Chisora fight. So that was December the 3rd. He says that they are targeting either February the 18th or March the 4th in the Middle East. And with Tyson Fury having said that he needs surgery on his elbow, I guess that's still that question mark over whether those dates are really realistic. Or is this more some more sort of uh, psychological warfare from Fury trying to say that uh, he's injured going into an undisputed fight or just some made up lies I don't know we'll have to see maybe he will get surgery but as I recently said in a Patreon video if Fury really does have an elbow issue that he needs surgery on why did he take the Chisora fight to put all that load on that so-called injured arm it's a question but Fury of Alexander Usyk he's described Usyk as being older than him and he says it's an even match he says if it was 22 it might be different but he's an old man he's had 300 amateur fights he's worn out too he's got about 250,000 miles on his clock he's had 315 amateur fights or something and he's had about 20 professional fights i don't believe he's got the best footwork in boxing i don't believe he outspeeds me either we're going to see the biggest fight of my career 2023 we're going to get the big fights the fans really crave first of all let's talk about Usyk I'm ready I'm willing to take on Usyk next whether it's going to be in Saudi Arabia or back here in the UK both places will be fantastic Jared Anderson meanwhile does pick Tyson Fury to beat Usyk should that fight happen he says I got my money on Fury if I'm being honest he's too big too smart of a fighter with the advantages as far as height size and weight it's just too much do I think Usyk will put up a great fight yeah I think it will be a great fight up until the seventh or eighth round then just Tyson using his size and weight and everything against him I think it's going to kind of derail the fight Rydell Booker has uh, rolled back the clock and taken the O of prospect Norman Nearly. Uh, he'd actually gone into this fight, Booker, out on two days' notice. And so he says here, these ninjas better stop calling me at the last minute, thinking this is a joke. I had to take that zero Norman Nearly. And actually, what we'll do here, this is from Rydell Booker's uh, Instagram. This is from ringside of the fight. Check it out. goes to prove as well right old booker he might be older but he's still got the experience and the skills and if you're not good enough that gate will be closed so that's a little boost for Rook, uh, for booker's career and he will get some more work off the back of this and nearly he'll obviously probably want to have a rematch he's going to need to rebuild he had had a little bit of sort of buzz with his career in the last sort of year or so but uh, that's taken a major dent here Aslan Bekmakhmadov has been working with Michael Polak Coffee and Oscar Rivas ahead of his fight against uh, Mikhail Wallish, which is December 17th in Canada. And Rivas as well, he has a fight coming up with FIA Jugba, video coming on that soon. That fight is in January, a doubleheader for top rank with uh, Guido Vianello and Stephen Shaw also on that undercard. Michael Polak Coffey. Uh, he's coming off a few bad losses in a row a couple to Johnny Rice and then he was also uh, stopped in his last fight as well so uh, I guess this is a case of uh, where to from here for for coffee maybe he will be a sparring partner for hire at least for a decent portion of the remainder of his career we'll have to see I don't think he's completely washed up but certainly any chance or um, climbing to a level to contest for a belt those days look to be well and truly over given the three losses on the bounce 
Jay McFarlane, he's announced that he's going to be back in the ring the 4th of March 2023. And it feels weird to say 2023, but we're almost on the door uh, of that. Um, so he says, fight birthday announcement. I turn 25 will be a fully grown hairy adult on the 1st of March, but the celebration will be during and after my fight Friday the 4th of March in the Marriott Hotel Glasgow. And then some details on tickets. So he is coming off a loss to Guido Vianello and he will be looking to bounce back. So this is a smaller card, but uh, he'll be back in the ring. One of the first announcements of the new fight calendar for 2023. And rounding out this heavyweight news and notes mashup video, Fabio Wardley. So he's been at his uh, home football ground of Ipswich Town and he's been showing off his new hardware, having won the British title recently, defeating Nathan Gorman to claim the title. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.